We are in a farm in Kwanandawaki in Kano and this is a mixed crop plant. This is a mixed crop um, farm. It has guinea corn known as sorghum. It has um, rice and soya beans. And they are all first time farmers. They don't want to show their faces and so I will do the video on their behalf. <laughs> They are facing a lot of challenges and there are a lot of challenges that first time farmers would definitely definitely face so welcome on this video to Dawakin Kudu farm with me in Kano state and i'll be sharing with you guys some of the major challenges that farmers face especially first time farmers in this era because it is tough one of the major problems that first time farmers encounter would definitely be location how do you find location on where to farm you know some people rent out their lands so how do you get to rent lands how much do you pay that is dependent on the area where you want to rent the land now one aspect of renting land and paying and all that is having to deal with the modalities because there are a lot of scammers out there so if you're a first time farmer you have to be careful another thing is what to plant this would come as a result of soil observation and what the history of that land what i mean by soil observation is you have to know what kind of land you you have rented okay do you want did you um did you rent a swampy land did you rent a dry land a high land a stony land whatever so this will determine what to plant now another thing that would come as a problem and challenge is how to plant there are various ways of planting different products different crops let me give you an example um that is like you can see in this video you can either plant it by transplanting you have a nursery bed and transplant or you plant it one by one okay you can spread it and then try to you know, degrade it you like make it scanty it all depends on what you want so you have to decide based on that land and the kind of labor that you get around there another thing is the soil infertility now one of the issues that we faced in this particular land is soil infertility because the land is so big there are different types of land is a mixed land that we have both swampy dry stony and it, at least those ones they are very fertile ones and very infertile ones you have to know the history of your land and do your soil observation very well because this would now help you understand what kind of fertilizer to use and how to use it would come to fertilizers but first and foremost soil infertility is a very big issue now another issue that I will raise pertaining soil fertility is your soil fertility will determine what crop that you plant look at this rice now can you see that it did not do well at all it's yellowish you know it's not green yet again there are other parts where it's so good can you see the difference still on the same land so you have to be able to realize what kind of land you have and what to plant per portion because there are some places that granola to do well but some places that pepper will do well and it all depends on what you want to plant now moving on we would now have workers one of the issues that you can face as a first time farmer is the kind of workers that you have different areas have their different agreements some people to work per day some people to work per hour some people used to work per contract like oh how much would it take for you to read all this area then you calculate some people will tell you oh work by day or oh, you have to feed us or oh, you don't have to feed us it all depends on the area there are people that you give them money you know and they do everything you don't have to feed them there are others that you feed them and you still give them money as regards contract there are others that will come daily it all depends on the area and the different arrangement that you have but you best believe that they are good and bad workers some will do the work good some will do the work badly and it would affect your crop so you have to be very careful of the kinds of people that you employ on your plot another thing that we talk about is the price range in fertilizer those are some of the biggest issues that um these particular people faced different prices now fertilizer will start probably like maybe fifteen thousand, and then before you know it it is twenty five thousand. 
these are some of the challenges the price increase oh my god and because these people they like they are sharks they can smell fear the way sharks used to smell fear that's the same way um these farmers these workers used to smell um novice if you're a novice they are they will milk you dry you know they will lie to you they would they wouldn't tell you the truth you know they will deceive you they will steal from you you need to be very careful and that's why i do not advise people who are going into farming to just go just like that as a first time farmer i would not advise you to be a secondary farmer meaning you are just relying on second hand information you have to be there to see what is happening you have to study you have to learn on the job as they are looking what is happening now okay you know look for other opinions around because honestly these people are liars and walking around the farm was exhausting but it was a good thing to see that my friends are doing something really nice and launching out into a different aspect of farming ideally the first one was doing um poultry and then he decided to diversify into soil being sorghum and rice what do you guys think about farming have you tried farming before we just concluded a class a startup class on farming start basic agric entrepreneurship skills and all that and then we have a community i'm sorry that that's already close to the public we already have the people that we are going to be working with going forward so I hope that this video helps a first time farmer this is what everybody needs there are a lot of information out there but you need to be careful there are a lot of scammers as well make sure that you know what you are doing and you trust people that are working on your farm and you study okay what's happening um is this the, is it the land issue is it the people issue is it whatever issue it is make sure that you know exactly what the cost is you cannot know everything i would say but making sure that you are on ground to monitor things sometimes when they see the owner there they are able to behave themselves and act accordingly and make sure that you take second opinion always go there why is this one like this ask question why is it like this is this how you do it when they tell you yes compare and control to what is happening around you within the same environment because um, uh, these workers are deadly they are all out for their money and they do not really care about the produce but if you find good and honest people please treat them well treat them properly and make sure that whatever they are doing you are giving them their appropriate reward do not overuse people because by the time they know that you are just out for profit they will make you out dry i hope this video helps one or two and i'll see you guys in my next video bye